Some tips and tricks with this Evercoat Gold if you're going to use it. Uh, you sand that again. Missed the spot. Uh, one of the things I found is it likes a finer paper. So um, make sure that if you're going to try it, um, have some finer paper. Basically, just uh, if all you have is a DA, knock it down with some 40 real quick. Knock it down with some 80 just to take the surface off and then switch right to 150 or, or uh, 120 is what I was using. And I bet you even 150 it would like better, but I didn't try it. Um, and make sure you have that finer paper with you because it doesn't really like the uh, heavier grit. It doesn't sand as fast. It actually sounds faster when you're using a finer grit paper. So... Uh, but it does shape amazing. Uh, it's really easy to shape stuff with. Uh, it's, there's almost no effort in that. Um, but uh, that's just a little tip and trick for using it. Um, also, the other thing I was going to tell you that it does is definitely sand it the same day you put it on. So just like any other plastic filler, you need it says on it that it's okay if you do it overnight it it sands better overnight than most fillers do but um, I would say as soon as that stuff sets I'd get on it right away sand it down and uh, get right on it because it does take a little longer it took me almost an hour to sand all this about an hour which is a long time to me I'm used to sanding stuff like this with a polisher in, in seconds and uh, this did take a little bit longer to sand as far than it would have yesterday. So I'll clean this up a little bit, shoot some epoxy on this. And basically uh, the hood is super straight um, within minutes. And there's really not much filler on here at all. It's actually just a skim, skim coat. And yeah, I could have probably done that with primer. That's how thin it is. So um, if you watch my metal hammering video, you'll see that... Um, how to do that uh, the right way and uh, a couple little shortcuts for you there um, and how to do it if you listen to what I'm saying uh, I know it's a, kind of a long video it will show you uh, how to hammer the right way so that you don't stretch your metal um, using the shrinking hammer and the other hammer that I used you don't really need to use the shrinking hammer that much um, you could have done everything I could have done everything with the dead blow and the and the other hammer and I still made it look fine and it wouldn't be stretched if as long as you follow those rules of not not using the dolly right in the same place but anyway this is the tri tricks for Evercoat is definitely finer paper for the Evercoat gold and <clears throat> and also sanding it the same day I would say within an hour of putting it on